catch is uh, helping us understand a lot uh, about the uh, uh, how the patients uh, present uh, with the disease uh, what uh, how they evolve over time what are the uh, problems they have when they come in and what problems are associated with the the, the the disease itself or develop over the disease uh, the uh, catch has also given us a lot of clues as to our the, what are the best treatment approaches uh, we are looking at models of care for example uh, and uh, uh, so th there's a lot of information about the patients, how they feel, how they cope with the disease, uh, what are the major limitations at different stages of the disease early on and after uh, months and years of disease. Uh, however, there's a limitation because, as I said, uh, the, the disease itself is a disease of inflammation driven by immune dysfunction. Uh, so if we want to know better what's the driver of the uh, immune dysfunction, we have to know, uh, m go deeper and have blood samples uh, that, uh, and other specimens that can help uh, us to uh, be able to uh, identify what's going on uh, early on, what may be driving the disease, what may make a difference between the patients who uh, respond to some drugs like methotrexate and uh, some others uh, that don't or that have toxicity. If we could identify, uh, for example, the subset of patients who will not tolerate methotrexate or will have side effects to it, we could avoid uh, give, exposing these patients to uh, a drug that from which they won't have any benefit but will have some uh, some harm. Uh, so that's one thing we are looking at it right now because I think it's a, an easy or doable uh, question that we can answer uh, within CATCH itself. We can also look at uh, subsetting or identifying early on those patients in which the current approaches to uh, or strategies to treatment are not effective. However, if we want to go to deeper questions like uh, what's the cause of rheumatoid arthritis, uh, how can we prevent it? Uh, CATCH uh, will have to uh, collaborate with other uh, groups or courts around the world. Uh, uh, CATCH is the largest by far uh, North American uh, court and the long, uh, of the longest duration, but they are similar or uh, well, yes, similar courts uh, around the world, especially in Europe. Because rheumatoid arthritis is a very complex disease, uh, we need large, very large numbers of patients. Even if we have more than 2,000 patients included in to catch, uh, we probably need tens of thousands to really go deeper in, into the biology of the disease and be able to understand and, and cure or prevent it. Over the, the, the last years, we have seen a, a lot of improvement in the approaches, strategies to treatment and uh, in the end result. Uh, we see that, uh, for example, joint surgeries have almost disappeared, uh, patients um, remain functional uh, much more than in the past. The, the pain levels reported by patients are lower. 